What's up? I'm Moana Turtle. So today we're doing another half box of Modern Horizons. So the if you haven't seen the first part, definitely go check that out before you watch this part of this video. Uh, some quick spoilers is... Alright, that's long enough. So while we did have a very strong start, I feel like we're going to need some unpredictable hits. Kind of like as far as like ratios. Um, we already have three Horizon Lands and I feel like... Or our first box, we only got two, so three is already pretty good. And I guess my point is, I'm not sure if we're going to get many more. Tectonic Reformation for our first rare, and so that's definitely not going to do it. So while we did get past uh, 100, we're going to need a lot of help to break that 200 mark, in my opinion. I, think feels, I feel like there's going to be a good amount of Mythics left over, um, but the rare, the rare lands, and... Um, we, we did get a rare foil, but it wasn't very good. Ooh, Ice Fang Quaddle. Quaddle? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. C-O-A-T-L. But I love this card. Flash Flying. Um, it's kind of like an improved version of Baleful Tricks, only you need three Snow Permanents. Although it does count as one, so you need two other Snow Permanents to give that the, um, the, death, the death touch. But, uh... If you do have it, then it's just a straight up Baleful Strix with Flash, which is absolutely insane. Alright, Firebolt. Pretty interesting card. Soul Herder, love this art. This thing is my favorite art in this set. Nantuko Cultivator. An Altar of Dementia. Reckless Charge Foil, great. Ah, that's a pretty cool art card to have. It's Sarah herself. I'm not sure how she became a planeswalker. I have no idea who Ren and Six are. Some kind of person that's merged with a tree for some reason. Alright. Ingenious Infiltrator. Undead Augur. Fester of Fools. And Giver Ruins. Okay. It's a solid, solid rare. Could be better, but could be a lot worse. All right, so, um, yeah, if you're not familiar with this set, this is the new Magic the Gathering set. This is straight to modern, meaning that just means it's not in the standard rotation. Uh, and a lot of very cool cards. Fallen Shinobi, very creepy. And, uh, yeah, so our first box, we did get an EV of, like, 280. And we paid about like just a little under 200. Uh, however, I feel like prices have actually gone down. So if you haven't bought your box yet, now might be a good time. I'll put a couple links down below. One for drop, uh, which I believe you can get it for 182. And I'll find the cheapest thing I can find on eBay right now is 183. Goblin Engineer. And there's a battlefield major search of library for artifact card. That's not bad. Sacrifice an artifact, return to target artifact, convert a mana cost three or less from graver to the battlefield. Hmm. Actually, sounds pretty good. Uh, always a fan of the swords. These ones I feel like aren't anything too crazy, but I wouldn't mind pulling them. Alright, so far, this is, second half of this box has been pretty bad, not gonna lie. Order for Phage, something. Brighting Bows. Talisman of Resilience. This is pretty bad. And then we got the bear, Queen Bear. Snow covered island, and a very cool looking sliver. Alright, so far, no Mythics, no Land Cycle. <laughs> but yeah, we, I feel like we got a lot of good pulls uh, which in our first half, which does have me concerned. This card's actually pretty cool. Wing Shards, uh, target player sacrifice to target targeting creature with Storm. The fact that it has Storm is pretty insane. Although, I guess the fact that it's attacking means your window of opportunity is kind of narrow. Collective Conjuring. A Shinobi card with a Foil Goblin. As always, guys, do me a favor, hit that like button down below, and uh, subscribe if you're not already for future content. We do a lot of Pokemon the Gather, Pokemon the Gathering, Pokemon Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, and boom! Oh, Sarah the Benevolent. So this is our first one. I feel like she's not that good. I wish they made her a little bit stronger. Uh, for example, her plus two. Well, I guess it's plus two is good. Like creatures you control will fly and get plus one plus one till end of turn. That's so specific. Like. I feel like a majority of the time this won't do anything and you'll just have a four six loyalty thing that you have to deal with or use her minus threes which is pretty good you get a four four but then this thing is very vulnerable to just being knocked out and if all you get is a four four flyer with vigilance 
For four mana, that's not worth it. So, but either way, I'm happy we did pull her. She is kind of like the box art slash one of the pack arts. And uh, Sarah's Angel, very... Oh wait, so okay, Sarah's Angel, and this is actually Sarah. So I guess, um, well, I guess that was kind of obvious, but I just got, just realized that. Birthing Bows, Urza's, ooh, I want Urza. Abominable Tree Folk, Merit Lodge's Slumber. All right, so yeah, if we do create Merit Lodge 2020 token. Yeah, the um, charm, something charm, where you can control take control of an opponent's creature non non land permanent i believe that's converted mana cost one or less and for example like engineered explosives and stuff like that like the one way to get rid of a bunch of tokens is to use something like that to oh my gosh waterlogged grove awesome so this is our fourth one we've doubled the number of horizon lands we got in our first box if it Renin six cool art if it wasn't for that foil mythic that box would have been a huge bust So all right, I'm starting to feel a little bit more optimistic that we can break that $200 mark in this box We're gonna need a couple more mythics though uh, But yeah the yeah that char I wonder if that's a way to deal with lands deck that do kind of primarily work with Merlage. And uh, those land decks, although primarily more around in uh, Legacy, I'm more familiar with the land decks. I love the the idea of them; um, they're just very cool. I feel like that's really hard to uh, protect yourself against, especially in modern, where I feel like wasteland and like ghost quartering your lands is less of a thing compared to the Legacy. Generous gift. Ooh, here we go. This is one of the swords. Always a big fan of these. Uh, so they're always three mana and then two to equip, and they always get plus two, plus two, and protection from two colors. This one is black and red. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, so you have to get through and hit uh, hit the player. Destroy up to one target planeswalker and up to one target artifact. Hmm, I feel like that's a little too specific. So I'm not crazy about that card. I feel like I like some of the older ones, like Feast and Famine, War and Peace. Mm, some, I don't remember what, that's, those are the only two that come to mind as far as the names go. Okay, let's see, we have, let's get one more Mythic. And if we get one more Mythic, one more Land Cycle, then I think we can do it. All right, Gleaner and Force of Rage. This card I feel like is pretty bad. Um, I'm not sure what situation, you have to be pretty desperate to spend two cards to create two three one red elemental creature tokens that get trample and haste but to actually use it on your opponent's turn uh so i feel like their card's quite bad and then even i guess it's if you just kind of cast on your own turn i guess it's not terrible but for the force cards it, as far as it being a force card it feels pretty bad tempered sliver tribute mage Watcher of Tomorrow, pretty cool art. And then Kaya's Guile. Oh, it's upside down. Alright, three packs left. One more Mythic, one more Land Cycle, and I think we have it. feel like I'm asking a lot. Here we go. Tranquil Thicket. Lava Belly Sliver. Lonely Sandbar. Astral Drift, that's not bad. Ravenous Giants. Alright. I feel like we're gonna come close, but ultimately come up short. Unless we get something big right here. Or in the next two packs. King of the Pride. Other cats you control get plus two plus one. First chosen sliver. Ice hide golem. You lose influence. That's not it. All right, last pack. We're gonna need some last pack magic. All right, guys, send your good luck to me somehow. Ignore the fact that this has already been recorded by the time you watch it. Here we go. Conifer Worm, Root Widow Pack, Smiting Helix, Genesis. Oh, Genesis. Urza, where are you? That's, that's the one we needed. All right, so I think we came up short, but let's take a look anyways. I feel like we're gonna come close. My guess is we'll hit about 190. All right, I'll be right back. All right, uh, and we're back. Whoa, what just happened? 
Plains Guru. What planes is cost that much money? <laughs> All right, so um, it's bittersweet when, when I was exactly correct when I felt like we were getting a 190. We got 189. Um, so I feel like this was a good box, but I'm really happy we got four of the lands. Uh, but I feel like the foil rare really, um, really came up short for us, and that was really the big difference maker between box one and box two. But on that, we got a lot of good cards. We got Ren and Six again, Prismatic Vista, Fiery Islet, Sunbaked Canyon. Uh, all the lands very good. The Archmage Charm is very cool. And, uh, ooh, Sarah Benevolent. That was a $10. Not bad. Waterlog Grove. So, um, yeah, a little uh, kind of disappointed that we didn't make it, but uh, we came very close. And, uh, so, but either way, that was had a great time opening that box. And thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me know in a comment below if you want to see more Magic the Gathering or how your own polls have been going. And um, yeah, uh, maybe we'll do an, our, that third box. We'll take, we'll see how the first two uh, first two boxes go as far as the uh, how well it's received as far as views and stuff like that. Uh, so if you want to see more, definitely hit that like button down below and leave me a comment saying so. That's kind of a good way to let me know that the content has been enjoyed um but that's all we have for today um thanks for watching guys i'm one turtle and i'll catch you guys next time peace